The next day, the team is ready to give John the results and researcher Adam Saffron explains. So yesterday, we peered deep into your brain. Yes. You and actually found that I had one. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. To get more information about your sexual orientation. And here's you. For one sex of person, you had the maximum arousal, which was significantly greater than all the rest. And we're not gonna tell you yet which that is, but one, it, it may be different than what you thought. Jesus, you're gonna tell me that my brain preferred women. Right now, I'm really confused. I'm kind of worried, too. This is your brain on sex. So here you are. That's the back of your head. That is your front of your head. That's oh your nose. my god. Those are your eyes. Uh. And then we're going to peel back, peel your nose off, peel back past your eyes. That's really freaky looking at myself like that. So this is my brain on sex, as you said. And it's a gorgeous brain. Tiny blood vessels in our brain respond to the slightest arousal and can reveal our deepest desires. John says he's 100% gay, but does his brain show he's also attracted to women? It's all these different regions. They all voted together and they voted the same. They liked one much more than the other. Okay. For God's sake, put me out of my misery. Okay, You're straight. So, yeah, absolutely. I'm straight? No. <laughs> You're showing considerably more arousal to nude men in general than you do to lesbians. I was so frightened there. Honest to God. <laughs> Honest to God. So frightened you were going to tell me I was, like, st straight. John wasn't aroused by women at all. But the results raise another question. Where do these instincts come from? Was John born with them, or did they develop later in life? What we concern ourselves with here is what is your sexual orientation as a function of your sexual arousal right now? It doesn't necessarily say how it got there. So someone could argue that at one point you were actually heterosexual innately. So the questions that are left for you to ask are how it gets there and when it gets there.